Hello and welcome back to the channel. Before we get into the video, I just want to take a moment to say thank you to all of my members that are appearing on screen right now. If you would like to see your name up there, then you can become a channel member. You can either become a shout out supporter, which basically gets your name on screen before a reaction video, or you can become a member for the weekly catch ups where I do uh, weekly content. It depends really. Some weeks I do live streams, some weeks I do get ready with me's, but it's a, it's a but it's an opportunity for me to update you on what's been going on with my life to catch up with you guys it is a bit more of a personal touch so if you want you can sign up to that tier of membership as well of course you don't have to become a member just simply you watching the video even better if you could like comment and subscribe all of that is greatly appreciated if you want to leave a super thanks that would of course also be greatly appreciated so once again thank you so much for the ongoing support from all of my channel members i really do appreciate it a lot and now let's get in to the video hey guys what's up and welcome back to the channel my name is Ilona. i'm also known as shikara transformations i'm an online health oh that came out a bit weird I'm an online health and fitness coach and I'm also a bodybuilder. If you're curious to see what that's all about, then definitely check out my Instagram. I'm mostly active there. Thinking about deactivating my Twitter, I don't really use it. I don't really like Twitter. And yeah, I upload shorts and I also vlog. I will probably edit tomorrow a weekly vlog because it takes me a long time to put together. I filmed the full day of eating. I will probably edit that to go up for the weekend. So you're getting this today because it's quick and easy and Thursdays are my busiest check-in day basically I'm back to back all afternoon but if you're a member I'm doing a members live stream tonight because I will have some time for that at six o'clock my time six o'clock my time is 11 a.m. Eastern so if you remember I've already just done the, mem the community post check it out no guarantee how long I'll be it depends on how tired I am I didn't sleep great last night but sometimes I'll say like, I'm only gonna be half an hour and then I end up talking for an hour. So it all depends on how it flows, but you're getting a live stream instead of a video this week. So today what we're all gonna do is we're gonna look at some test holiday because test holiday started a diet journey and I wanted to keep up with it. So let's just get back into where we left off and just go from there and see what happens. And also what I kind of like about Tessa's reactions is that she talks about, she doesn't just talk about diet stuff. I feel like I can give my opinions on a lot of things as well. So we'll see. We'll see. I have no idea what we're going to look at, but here we go. So we'll start off with this one. I wanted to show you a few of the things that I'm loving right now. Okay, so... So this is um, things, her favorite things from Trader Joe's. Starting strong. I don't know what Trader Joe's is. Is Trader Joe's like a Whole Foods sort of shop? Is it like a fancy supermarket? Like a, a, a Waitrose in the UK? I guess so. I would say over here, the more fancy supermarket is probably Fantastico. And they don't have Fantastico in the whole country. They only have it, I think maybe only in Sofia. They might have it in Plovdiv. I don't think I've seen it in Varna. I think it's maybe a Sofia thing, but I do like Fantastico though. I'm not going to lie. I do like shopping in nice supermarkets, but then I also shop a lot, a lot in Lidl. Because Lidl has like, like it's cheap for like fruits and veggies. And actually it's quite good quality there. So, and they have like the nice chicken as well in Lidl. The, the French chicken. <laughs> we have this pasta sauce i don't know what they put in this but i bought four cans i bought four Rost... rostella pasta sauce i mean i could look up the nutrition but i'm not you're going into ear days come here you're your ear. Here we go. um it depends, like, I, it, like, with pasta sauces, some of them are really not that bad. Some of them are really bad for you. They have a lot of sugar, they have a lot of process, they have a lot of oils and fats and stuff. So it's hard to say. If it tastes super nice, it probably is because either it's, it's if it's, it tastes very nice, either because it has a lot of ingredients in it that are not good for you, or it's made with, like, really nice quality ingredients and it's just prepared properly for scratch. From Trader Joe's, and I wanted to show you a few of the things that I'm loving right now. Okay, so starting strong, we have this pasta sauce. I don't know what they put in this, but I bought four cans. I bought four cans, jars. I bought four jars. They just brought it out for Valentine's, and speaking of Valentine's, get out of here. Can you? 
I mean, if you're trying to lose weight, eating pink pasta is probably not the way forward, but okay. Even, I bought three of these. I bought three of these, and I'm so excited. Is she gonna put all of them in one go? You know, push control is always a good way to start a diet. Excited to make them and pair these together. Their obsession. My friend, I was like at her house, I wanted a sweet treat. She brought out these. And I was like, a crispy rice bite. Okay, first of all, I already ate it when I was in the car. I love that they're individually wrapped. You could easily make those at home as well. And you could even make them higher protein if you wanted to. It just mix like, because that's what I used to do when I was, um, when I had, um, back in the day, Coco Pops in my, as my post-workout. I would just mix my, my, my um, whey protein thick into a paste and then put my cereal through there. It's really nice and then you create something like that stick it in the freezer for maybe 30 minutes i never did that but you could do that just stick it in the freezer for 30 minutes and you basically create uh cocoa bites that are uh, higher in protein and less in sugar and i suppose even if you want to you could get the the cocoa pops or the the puffed the puffed cereals that don't have any chocolate on them they'll be even less carbs but they don't have those over here and yes i bought two boxes Go get these immediately. Go. I'm starting to see a trend of her purchasing items in excess that don't need to be bought in, or purchasing items in bulk that don't need to be purchased in bulk. Get them. Last but not least, this is an oldie, but still love her. The vanilla spiced chai, I love. Um, it has protein in it, it's delicious. I was a Starbucks girly and I gave it up and I was a chai girl, especially. I'm gonna have to have free policy. I have to gonna cut out the commentary in regards to the thing that's going on with the with the conflicts because the second any word of that is in any video, it gets instantly demonetized. Really, like during the holidays, the pumpkin chai, so good. Not anymore. Which I don't understand why. Like, if people are not having a, if, like, it doesn't matter. Like, you can have, you should be able to have an opinion either way, and a video shouldn't get demonetized. But yeah, you can't basically you can't say certain things about certain things happening in the world because your video will get demonetized. I have this um, for my breakfast sometimes with like fruit, yogurt, whatever. So good. Let me know what your guys' faves are from Trader Joe's right now um, because I always need more things. The weather here is really um, bipolar at the moment. It's it goes from being around zero to being. 15. Yesterday I was walking the dogs and I was walking, I had to, I was walking with a long sleeve top and I was wearing a, a hoodie. I had to take the hoodie off because I was literally sweating my balls off. I just turned my heating on, it's too hot for it now, but I think it's kind of cold again tonight because it felt cold in my bedroom. So one day you're walking around in t shirts and the next day you're walking around in your winter clothes. It's kind of annoying. First world problems, eh? I just got back from Trader Joe's and I wanted to show you a few. I'm about to get my makeup done by my gorgeous, gorgeous friend, Mariana. Ah! And look, guys. Mariana has some copy notes. Wow. It creates a bit of perspective, doesn't it? When you see her next to, uh, like, and even, guys. not to fat shame Mariana, but she was a bigger, not, oh, she was, wasn't like super morbidly obese or anything, but she's probably class overweight. Our iconic inked shoot is literally framed on her wall with the steamy Polaroids. I, it just like made my date. I've been thinking about this a lot. I, if you don't feel like you owe your health to your children, then you are a horrible parent. I think there is a, a degree of fact in there. I do agree. I think you are responsible for children's as an adult, it's, you have to, it's kind of like when you're in an airplane, you need to put the air on yourself first before you start helping other people, right? So... La, what makes someone a good parent? And I don't think it's... You can, you can still love somebody, but I think... Uh, yeah, you have to just sometimes do the things that you don't... I think, I think a lot of people conflate love and, like, feeding children or animals with, like, loving. But there's more to it. Like, if you love your dog... You still need to take it for a walk. You need to take it for medical care, or your cat, or whatever. You don't need to take your cat for a walk. But it, it, there's more to love than just to, to, to have the feeling and to give it food, or give them food. You know, you need to 
do whatever necessary. So if you love your child properly, you make sure that they're uh, stimulated mentally and physically. You make sure that they're eating proper nutrition. You make sure that you're healthy so you can keep up with them and play with them. You, that you're healthy should something so that you don't have that your children are not taking care of you. Um, I mean, it's different, obviously, if you get if you get sick, people can't help you in cancer or anything like that. But if you are purposely, if you are having if you are having an affliction that you can control, and I suppose to a degree, bodybuilding can be part and parcel of that. If you're not taking care of your blood, if you're not taking your performance enhancers um, safely, if you're not doing uh, the proper, if you're not taking the 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 most the the safest protocols possible then that is yeah that could be also considered in a like a bad parenting absolutely because people do pass away from it but usually it's more over time it's more like like liver failure and enlarged heart which is more to do with like insulin and like excess growth hormone and stuff like that but at the end of the day if you're somebody that's like always competing, that is always uh, prepping, that's doing ex that is an abuser and not a user of performance enhancers, then yeah, then that is in you know that is bad parenting. If it's costing, if you're putting your money, your finances, in front of your for yourself and not for your children and for their health, yeah. Tomorrow, my oldest son turns eighteen, and I honestly. And this is why, like, I do bodybuilding now, but when, when I have kids, or when, I, when, when the plan is to have a child at least, hopefully by the end of the year, because let's face it, I'm not going to get any younger, um, I'm not going to compete. I'm not going to do any of those things, because that goes completely against everything that I say. But, uh, yeah, I do think there can be definitely parallels drawn, and I'm, I'm not unaware of that. Honestly, can't believe it. I had him when I was 20 years old. No relationship with his biological father, truly doing it on my own. And meanwhile, wanting to become who I literally am today. I dreamt of being a plus size model, of living in LA, of doing all of these things. I never really dreamt of being a mom and I feel really lucky that I was able to be a mom in really, really chaotic, unplanned circumstances. And I feel really grateful that I've kept a human being alive for 18 years. And not only that. She says this in such a weird way. Wow. He is incredibly bright and so empathetic and so sweet and we're so much alike <laughs> it's been a really good reminder to myself that i did this you know we did this i don't know what makes someone a bad parent but i know i'm not a bad parent and i know that my son doesn't i mean it's just about the health factor. If you pass away at an earlier age because of your health and, you know, you're, you're putting your social media life in front of your children's lives. Like, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. See me, my older son and my younger son, they don't see me as a failure because of my body size. If anything, they just see their mom. They see someone who is loving them, who shows up for them, who takes them to school, who picks them up, who watches all kinds of shows over and over that I don't really want to watch, but I watch it with them, who does all of the things that... But what about eating healthy, preparing food, playing with them, going hiking, taking them into the nature, you know, putting on a TV show and watching that? It's, not... <laughs> it's kind of like an indication of like... Let's the lifestyle you lead in it no one really like wants to do in parenting but you do it because you love your kids and you hope to give them something better than you had and for those of us that didn't plan on being parents and didn't plan on being single parents at that i think that i'm doing pretty good and i know that my sons are proud of me and I'm not saying she's a bad mom. I'm sure she she did a good job. It's just that from the perspective, if you think about it logically, if you want the best for your children, the the 
you, to give the best to your children, you need to be your best version. And your best version of yourself is when you're not physically unwell. And being obese is something that yeah. you can control. You know, obviously people can't help getting into accidents or getting other sicknesses. But obesity is definitely something that can be controlled. And if you're choosing to stay obese, then you're not as good as, parent, as a parent as you would be when you are not obese. That's just a simple fact. Yeah, I did. I did. And I'm not saying that non-obese parents can't be bad parents, of course. But if, if you are the same person, obese versus non-obese, you are going to be a better parent. You're going to be better at daily tasks, etc. when you're non-obese than when you are obese. Let me think. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You clogged the toilet and blaming the kids. Theo Von. I did. Yeah, I did. Every single day, I tell myself, you got this, it's okay. The weight loss is going well, by the looks of things. I do pep talks to myself, and I'm like, I'm grateful. I love my life. I'm blessed. I am just abundant. All of the things. All of the things. And, you know, I'm not going to let everything just beat me down. And it has been, and I'm not allowing it. I told myself 2024 is going to be the year that I just pick myself up and I keep. <laughs> That's a Phil sandwich. Jesus. Keep fighting. <laughs> and I'm going to keep. That's so, that's so densely packed. Wow. Only in America. Fighting because we have no choice. Mm -hmm. So if that's you. Look. I don't know how I, I just start to think how my cat it's a Caesar salad, like a Caesar. How do you make Caesar? Caesar's oil, parmesan, garlic, I think. Is it garlic? Um and anchovies. That's like a typical Caesar. And there's some other salt and a couple of other things. Lemon lemon juice maybe? I can't really remember the recipe for a Caesar, but it's let's just say it's not healthy. It's not the it's not it's not a char grilled chicken breast. That's you. That's great. That's great. Whatever. We got this. If that's you, we got this. I'm not a pretty... E oh, jeez. That's such a fucking fat sandwich. Jesus Christ. I am going... We're doing our... Yeah, throwing out a weird chicken for me. Do you mean like a, a piece of breast? <laughs> I guess she's not used to eating whole foods. Best. And really, that's all that we can do. And if anybody expects more of you and you can't do it. You okay. can do it. I think this is really a mindset thing. You are capable of a lot more things than you think you can. I mean, I'm not talking about like you're in, like fucking dying off a cliff with your arms, but... You can change a lot in your life. You are very much in control of many situations. So if you think you can't do it, then yeah, you're never going to achieve anything. You are capable of a lot more things than you think you are. Hey, good morning. Her. You can say no. Just say no. Just say no. But we got this. Let's fold our laundry, let's fold our mountain of laundry together, ADHD edition. It's funny how, what is it with all these influencers all being ADHD now? Is this the new, is this the new trend? Hey, oh, do we have ADHD? Maybe we do. We, we also have ADHD, yes. I have had oh, a I doom pile in my room. I have had a doom pile in my room for, I don't know, months. I clear it, it goes back. My dresser hasn't been cleared in months. I'm currently working, but this is what I'm- You think she could afford maybe like cleaner? That's bad, I- I mean, like, I'm not the biggest of cleaners, but I'm, I'm clean. I'm not the tidiest of tidiest persons. Like, I'll have, like, maybe, like, an item of clothing laying on, like, a chair in my bedroom or something like that. But this... I'm talking about... 
I'm going to put on my neon sign to make it less sad in here. <laughs> so you guys are going to tackle this with me. It's 9.17 at night and this is what I'm dealing with. I'm literally asleep all the time. <laughs> okay, okay, we've made progress. There's a pile there. There's a pile there. The pile is smaller. I found my hamper. Progress. Just a little dance. For progress. I actually do think maybe she looks like she lost a little bit of weight in this in this particular shot here. She's looking a little bigger through her legs and her butt before. A little booty dance. <laughs> okay. You want to know how I have good taste and how you know I have good taste? Where's your wolf? I, I have a wolf t-shirt too. Wolf shirt. And I do wear it ironically. Where's your wolf shirt, huh? Speaking of dumb t-shirts because I love a dumb shirt. Oh. Okay, but like, I can't get rid of this dress, right? Come on. It sounds like it's made of really shit material. You can just hear it's plastic. It's gorgeous, right? When you're folding clothes, do you ever see stuff and you're like, oh my god, I've been looking for that? No. And then you go through all- Oh, because my, my, my wardrobes are not in this kind of chaos. All of the moments where you wish that you would have been able to find that piece so you could have worn it instead of like wearing the same thing that you always wear. Realizing as a redhead, I have a lot of green. <laughs> Maybe I need to like- Get rid of some I do like wearing greens as well when I'm red. It suits me when I'm blonde too, but it looks better when I'm red. Green? Nah. What? I'm gonna dye my hair tomorrow because the roots are rooting again. I feel like I literally dyed it not that long ago, and I didn't. I dyed it like three weeks ago, but this is... And the fringe, the fringe is on... It's too... And the roots... Oh, this, is, this is the one thing that is a nightmare about this kind of hair colour, is the roots are just unacceptable. Very quickly. I sincerely apologize to everyone that follows me for the absolutely dumb things that I repost. I was just sitting here giggling at a man who was walking past his washing machine. He was like an older gentleman. And it said like, oh, I like when you miss the raves. And then he puts on like glasses and starts like raving. And I just thought it was so funny. And um, I'm just so sorry if- I will never apologize for reposting memes. I love reposting memes in my Instagram. It's one of the highlights of my day. <laughs> you know, hamsters getting tucked in and you know, pickles having eyeballs and talking weird zoo. you know if there's one thing that social media is gonna do it's gonna make us all feel bad about ourselves it's always gonna make us feel like we need to fix something like we are the problem and we're not i've been seeing so much discourse about this angle makes her look enormous i don't know why it is but i mean she does have an enormous chest but I've, whenever i see her like this it looks like she's not lost any weight but they we see angles i feel like she does look like she's lost some weight legging legs and i don't know what that is uh i think that's the silliest thing that i've ever heard and even though i think it's silly there's a ton of people on here that probably would look at themselves and think there's something wrong with my body and no there's not there's not i mean this besides the fact that you're morbidly obese, super morbidly obese, which is unhealthy, but she, I feel like she definitely looks like she's lost weight. Not a lot. Maybe like a 30 pounds or so, but I feel like she's lost weight. These ladies look like, look, look like they're joggers as well. This is what my body looks like. I know I'm fat. I know I'm not everybody's cup of tea, but what I do know after, you know, 14 years, of being in the body positive industry and as somebody that has existed online and grown up online in front of millions of people around the world, I can tell you it doesn't stop. 
it doesn't stop the only well the thing is you put yourself on the internet there's always going to be somebody that has a comment about it right somebody that has a critique somebody that has an opinion it's just the way it is it you, you can be angelic and there's still going to be people out there that have commentary you know she went through a phase of being really skinny and everybody called her anorexic maybe she was i don't know but the point is it doesn't matter you can be like the most beautiful woman in the world the most beautiful man in the world or like the most handsome man in the world and people there's always going to be people with opinions so as long as you're happy with yourself genuinely then those opinions of other people doesn't really matter too much going to be something new there's always going to be something that they're going to make you feel bad about and you're just going to scream in your bed or alone, wherever, I don't know, a closet, your car. I like to cry in my car, I scream in my car sometimes, but it doesn't matter. You're gonna find your space that you are able to just scream and let it go because it's never ending, it's not. And it's not you, you're not the problem, you're not. It's the people at the top that continue to profit off of your insecurities and to tell you that there is something wrong with your body and there isn't. All right, well, I'm gonna go guys because it's coming up to half an hour and that's when my battery runs out so thank you so much i mean the recording it recorded half an hour on this camera i don't know why um i need to walk my dogs i need to have a shower because after the gym i need to go for a sports massage because my back's still not 100 percent then i'll come back and do some work but unfortunately i need more caffeine by the looks of things so i'm gonna go thank you so much for watching Comment, like, subscribe, dislike the video if you disliked it. And let me know down below why. And let's insert... Mm, pink heart emojis, because I'm wearing pink. Thank you so much, and see you later. Have a good one. Bye.